Well, outside it is a cold, dreary Sunday afternoon, but inside, in here in the aquaponics center, it is a nice, bright, warm afternoon. The grow lights have been hung, and the uh, water has cleared up a bunch. It may not be able to tell it on the video, but the water has actually settled out quite a bit. Still a little, still a little dark, but I can actually see the bottom of the tub now. So. It's a lot better than it was, and I'm actually going to take the opportunity to go ahead and collect some stuff in the grow beds today. So I've got laying here some um, tomato seeds. Um, the seeds are about all I could find this particular time of the year, I and mean, it is the middle of October. So what I'm going to do is just come back here in the back of the grow bed, just poke a hole down until I see water, and drop a couple seeds in. If I can get a hold of them. and drop them right in the water and then cover them back up and that's really all there is to it. Uh, I have also got a couple of seedlings over here which uh, I'm going to break down and show you how to plant those. Alright so here I've got a little red lettuce seedling. Uh, now what I'm going to do and I hope I can actually hold this video camera and do this. What you do to plant a seedling in the aquaponics system is you're actually going to pull it out uh, of the container and then wash off most of the dirt. I'm going to pause the video and do that real quick, or at least get it out of the box. So I'll just say. Now you can see here I'm just kind of flooding the roots and getting as much of the dirt out of the root ball um, without harming the roots as I can. And there's actually two plants here, it looks like, and I may try to see if I can separate them. But that's all that this step is, so I'm just going to rinse these out and get them separated. Then I'll pick back up the next step. All right. Well, I wasn't able to separate the two uh, from each other, so all I'm going to do here, just like we did with the seed that's back there, I'm just going to dig a hole right in the gravel, just like it was dirt. Um, and they they uh, suggest you put seeds in first because dis disturbing the gravel like this will actually help get the seeds down in there. Then I'm just going to get these down in here get the gravel back around it. And there we go. Uh, red lettuce is planted. That's all there is to it in this system. So uh, tomatoes are planted at the back and uh, red lettuce is up front and I'll finish planting the plant in this back now. I'll show it all to you in a week. And all right, so here it is. We've got uh, a row of uh, bib lettuce planted in here and a row of Grand Rapids leaf lettuce planted here, a couple of pea plants back there, some peppers, a tomato plant, and of course our red lettuce right here. And here are your gardeners for the day. We've got Benjamin who planted the, uh, a bug, oh no, uh, who planted the lettuce and wrote all of our, wrote all of our little markers out for us, and Sierra who planted peas and peppers, and Gabriel, who played in the rocks. Oh, Gabriel. All right, y'all say bye. We'll see you next week. Bye.